Rex and I are going to do a little muzzle session. It is a firm and strong belief of mine that all dogs should be muzzle trained. It does not matter how friendly your dog is, any animal in pain can bite or hurt someone. This is my fearful boy. This helps him to not be as afraid that this has a um, confidence for him to know he is safe and for the vet staff or anyone who's treating him to know that he is safe. So we have a routine. We muzzle in, we muzzle out. We muzzle in, we muzzle out. Oh, excuse me, we muzzled in again. Our routine was a little off. And then I'll give a break treat every once in a while that gives them a little break from doing the activity. Muzzle in, and then we'll go ahead and strap her up. I like to do this periodically to make sure that our muzzle is a good fit. And whenever I do need it, we can just use it. So this is a little tight. I don't know if his head's getting bigger, <laughs> but I'll adjust a little bit and redo. It's a lot of eating. We'll get him muzzled up. Oh, Rex, what happened to your head? You did get big, huh? It got so big. So I'm gonna give him a break treat. That was a lot. I'm gonna start the routine over. Muzzle in, muzzle out, muzzle up. And then we'll go ahead and make sure this fits. We have a vet appointment coming up in the beginning of July. So this needs to be something that is on and comfortable as best as we can. There's a boy. Good boy. So what I would do generally is I do usually have a squeeze tube of peanut butter or squeeze cheese so that I can feed him while he's muzzled up. Today we just have some treats, actually just some kibble. Woof. Out. Yeah, good boy. And again, just a little break treat to get him remembering that it's okay. Everything's okay. All right. Okay, so that's our little muscle session. Sorry, I'm just trying to see why this is a little bit tight on him. But this seems to be much better. You'll also see that I had a seamstress put a clasp with an old collar, cla old uh, head halter clasp on his um, muzzle because whenever I bought my Baskerville, they were only using buckles and it was hard for me, harder for me to get it on. He's not a dog that needs it for everything. He usually just only needs it for his vet appointments. So I am comfortable with it being a buckle, a snap instead of a buckle. But that was our little muzzle session. So remember, muzzles aren't just for bad dogs. Muzzles are to keep people safe. And dogs safe. And for everyone to feel safe. Safe, safe, safe. It's just a tool like a leash to keep dogs safe. So muzzle train your dogs.